What's up gang, it is your boy Mimic and today I'm going to show you people how to do all the tricks you need to know about Spark Tree. First thing first is the Mania Dash where you get a huge boost of speed from enemies. This is the most useful glitch in the game by far. So to use it you will need to do a Jester Dash on the enemy. Right when you are about to hit the enemy, press the dash button. This will give you a huge amount of speed that will carry your speed from the Jester Dash. If you collided with the enemy, it's because you did it too early. If you collide too many times with the enemies, I would recommend to get over them so you won't collide with them. I want to also add that you can also use the bubbles to Mania Dash. Now, let's talk about the grinding rails in the game. With this trick, it is crucial to have the Jester Swipe. Normally, you aren't able to use the Jester Swipe on rails. But to counter this problem, you will need to do a short up to be able to do the Jester Swipe. This is useful to have it to gain a lot of speed from the grinding rails. One last thing about the rails that is also important to have is the rail boost and the regen breaking if you want to be the fastest on the grinding rails. Let's get back to another kind of Mania Dash that is called the Exhausted Mania Dash. With this glitch, you can get some serious height with it. First thing to remember is to do it in the air or else it will be useless to try it. So with that in mind, while you are in the air, do a dash before doing a Mania Dash. Yeah, which is the Jester Dash plus the Dash. There is one thing to keep in mind with this glitch. The existed Mania Dash depends a lot about the angle you are from the target. You can get straight up or straight forward depending on your angle. One glitch that is really important but that will probably be fixed on the release of the game is the Reaper Clip. You just dash through a wall that looks just like this and then voila! Here is the last important thing, the Scoop Magnet. This glitch uses the energy dash that you can get from the shop. The first thing to do is to have enough energy to have the energy dash which is one bar. Now to use it you will need to do a jester dash but after the jester dash instead of using the dash normally on Mania dash you will need to do the energy dash. The timing is a bit strict if you want to do it you need to be able to do a normal one where you hit the enemy and then dash forward. So this is it, gang. This is how you do all the tricks in the stages in Spark 3. Have fun with it.